top 10 guy in the division now, but people look at the record. They don't look at that, but he's basically sparred every single guy that's come through wild card and all those regions. And he's just, he's a late bloomer. Like you said. Yeah. 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 He is. Um, deserves, deserves the Yeah. He deserves the wins. what did you think of my man? J rock, man. He fought Vladimir Hernandez. Who's a guy I've, I've seen more Vladimir Hernandez fights than probably anyone else. He's from Stockton, California. He's kind of one of these club show guys that's beaten. Let me think. He beat one, two, three. He's beaten four A-side fighters. One, he did a rematch with a guy, fought him in his hometown, beat him again. It was a top-ranked guy. He's just one of these really friggin' tough guys that you want to see make a lot of money because it's just like he's just signing up to fight people and he's winning the fights. Uh, I guess I should start with how did you score the fight? Did you even score the fight? Did you watch the fight? What did you think of this fight? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I, w- I will start by saying I-, I am British, but I don't really fly the flag for British boxing or anything. My audience is uh, mainly American. Um, so you could say, like, I write with a slant for an American audience. But when it comes to results or things that I want to see happen, I'm not really rooting for, you know, one particular guy, whether they're English or, you know, whoever. The one thing that I do start to root for is uh, chaos. So like Ruiz and Joshua, that was just chaotic, the, the first fight. Um, Usyk beating Joshua because, you know, over here, there's such like a marketing thing to push Joshua. You know, that was chaos as well. So when someone like Hernandez comes on and starts doing what he does, and like you say, how many A-side does he beats? You know, beating Angulo. Uh, and then coming in and beating J Rock, you know, this is this is chaos unfolding right in front of us. You know, the, the it's not supposed to happen like this, and it is happening. And I, you know, that there's just a part of me that just loves to see that. Um, I don't know whether it's because it's like somebody biting back on the industry, or you know, like an underdog, you know, um, you know, winning, uh, you know, and changing their life. But uh, yeah, I, I can't help but love to see what Hernandez is doing. Um, just a rugged guy uh but yeah i mean people might have tried to explain away the angulo result but you know good luck trying to explain away the you know williams one this is a former champion as well i also feel for julian because i think julian's one of the nicest people in boxing and he's like one of the most sincere boxers and my the the thing is like he's so guarded he doesn't allow a lot of times the writers to know how interesting of a person he is like, I remember I was once at a gym and I was filming and like, he was like, Hey, don't, don't film. And then like the next day I go back cause I'm filming and I didn't go up to talk to him because I was like, Oh man, I made Julian mad. You know, I'll just stay away from, him. and he came up to me and was like, Hey man, I was going to DM you. I didn't want you to think that I'm like a bad person. I'm just really focused. And that I always tell that story because it stands out because you don't know how many fighters I've been around that have tried to bully or they'll do a statement and they have no concept of understanding or they don't care. And Julian actually thought about that interaction, that small interaction. He thought about it. He, he really reflected on it. And then he came up the next day with a purpose to talk about it. And that's why I've always been a a Julian Williams guy, because how many fighters can you really like, if someone was like, just a prick to you and a media scrum. And then they come back to you the next time they see you and they have insight. It's few and far between. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it helps. Um, you remember that you're speaking to a human, you know, when you see those human sides of people. Um, but yeah, that's nice to hear. Oh, he's, he's a, a gentleman. It's, it's hard to see because it's like, I feel like a lot of times the fans kind of have the feeling you were talking about where they love the utter chaos. And then in the utter chaos, they're going to downplay how good a fighter like Julian Williams is. They're going to be like, oh, he wasn't good. And it's like, well, he's a former world champion. Maybe Mm -hmm. Vladimir Hernandez is just a really sneaky, good fighter. Maybe we don't have to put down Julian, but I know all these fighters. Social media is a very big part of their life. They like looking on the apps. And it's sometimes very toxic with the words people use to define people that have put 20 years into a sport. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you, what you were saying earlier, like 1L, you know, doesn't make a or doesn't um, break a career. Uh, See it loads in MMA. You know, there's so many ways to lose that people don't get bogged down with, you know, the, you know, like an undefeated record. Or um, if you lose, you can, you know, come back in quite a short amount of time. 
but yeah, I'd like I'd like to see that change in boxing where we're a little bit more um, respectful and appreciative of you know. What's up, everybody? It's your good friend Lukey, and I appreciate you watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview? Look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.